Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure and set up the remote desktop connection on your Windows 11 operating system. So as you can see here, I have two Windows 11 operating system. One is this Windows 11 operating system and other Windows 11 operating system I'm using virtually, right? For the demonstration purposes, I want to uh, show you uh, both the screens of my uh, virtual Windows 11 operating system and my host Windows 11 operating system. So let's say you want to share this Windows desktop on the other Windows desktop, right? So what you can do. Now it's also important to note here is that you cannot use remote desktop connection on the home variant for Windows 11. So if you have home edition for Windows 11, you might not be able to use remote desktop connection. If you have any other version or edition of Windows 11, this remote desktop connection will work. So just go to the Windows 11 operating system where you want to share your desktop. So I want to share the, this desktop. So I'm going to go to this uh, Windows 11. And here, I just need to open the settings app. So you can open the settings app by clicking on uh, this uh, Windows start icon and then you will be able to see the settings app here. Otherwise, you can also search for the settings app and then click on the settings app and settings app will open. On the settings app, you need to select system here on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you need to scroll down where you will see remote desktop option. So you need to click on this uh, remote desktop option, which is going to uh, open the remote desktop uh, window here. Now, by default, this option will be disabled, right? So the remote desktop option will be disabled. So to enable it, it's very easy. You just need to toggle this uh, toggle button, which is going to uh, show you this kind of window. So you just need to click on confirm. And when you click on confirm, your Windows operating system will be uh, ready to share its uh, desktop remotely, right? You can also see the PC name here, which is in my case code bind. In your case, it can be different. So just note the PC name because this PC name you are going to use to uh, share your desktop remotely. Also, when you uh, just click on this arrow, you will be able to see required device to use network level authentication to connect. This is recommended. And you can also see remote desktop port here. Okay. Also, you can see uh, the remote desktop users from here. Right now, I haven't connected to any uh, desktop, so you cannot see any uh, connection here, right? The other setting you need to do on your Windows 11 operating system is you need to allow the remote desktop connection on the private or the public networks, right? So just click on the search option here and then search for firewall here and you will be able to see this option which says allow an app through windows firewall okay so just click on this option which says allow an app through windows firewall and once you click on this option it's going to open this kind of window this location you can also reach using the control panel so you can uh, search for a control panel and then uh, once the control panel is open you just need to view by category here and then click on system and security and then under windows defender firewall you just need to click on this option which says allow an app through windows firewall which is going going to open the same window right so you can see both windows looks the same here in order to change these settings you need to click on change setting option on the top and then when you scroll down, you will be able to see the remote desktop option. So just scroll down and right now you can see uh, this option remote desktop. So you need to check both these checkboxes in order to enable uh, this firewall option for the remote desktop. You can also check this checkbox which says remote desktop web socket and you can also enable this firewall for remote uh, desktop web socket also, right? Once you are done, click on OK and then you can close this window. 
Now in the next step, what you need to do, you just need to open the command prompt. So just click on search option and then search for CMD and then uh, just click on uh, command prompt option. And once this command prompt uh, terminal opens, you need to type IP config here. Okay, so type IP config and then press enter, which is going to show you uh, some IP addresses. So the one we are interested in is this one, which is called IPv4 address. So once you have noted this address, just go to the other Windows 11 uh, desktop where you want to view this uh, desktop. Okay, so I'm going to go to the second desktop and on the second desktop, you just need to search for remote desktop connection. Okay. So just search for remote desktop connection on the second uh, Windows 11 operating system and then click on remote desktop connection here. And once this is open, so this uh, window is open on my second Windows 11, right? So here you need to type uh, this address, which is 192.168.1.14 in my case. So I'm going to type this address. In your case, it can be different. So just type the address which you see here. Once I click on connect here, you will be able to see uh, this option which says username and password. So now in order to uh, log into your Windows 11 operating system remotely, you need to know the username and password. So the username here, you will be able to see uh, here. So when you click on uh, Windows start icon, this is your username. In my case, it's a code bind. You can also see the username here where it says code bind, right? So when you open the terminal, the last uh, name we, which you will see after users will be your username. So I'm going to just provide the same username, which is code bind in my case and the password. So the password is the password of your Windows 11 operating system. So whatever is the password of this uh, Windows 11 operating system, which you use to log into your Windows 11 operating system, that password you need to provide here. So let me provide that password here. You can also check this checkbox, which says remember me, which is going to remember uh, your credentials. Then click on okay and then you will be able to see uh, this kind of window. So here you need to just click on yes here. So it says the identity of remote computer cannot be verified. Do you want to connect anyway? So we want to connect anyway, so I can just click on uh, yes here. If you want to view the certificates, you can uh, view the certificates from here. But for now I'm going to click on yes. And as soon as I do that, my, uh, you can see on my virtual machine, I'm logged out because my remote desktop is shared here, right? So I can only uh, view one desktop at a time. So this is how I can view the remote desktop, right? I can also maximize this and you can see it looks like uh, my desktop and I can also uh, minimize this like this and I can also maximize this window and uh, start using this remote desktop, right? Now, once I am finished with my work, I can uh, just uh, close this connection by clicking on this cross icon and then click on OK. And once uh, this connection is finished, I can once again uh, log into uh, my uh, host machine or uh, so I'm going to provide my password here and you can see my uh, windows is uh, visible here, right? So my desktop is visible here. So once again, let me show you how you can connect this. You just need to open the remote desktop connection on uh, your uh, uh, machine where you want to see your remote desktop and then uh, type the IP address, click on connect and then click on yes. And as soon as this desktop opens, the other desktop is going to be logged out, right? And you can see, so let me open the command prompt from here and I'm going to just cite CMD here and then press enter. And when I type IP config here and then press enter, you can see the same IP address, right? So it's essentially uh, the same desktop which we are viewing uh, remotely and also the 
name here you can see the username is code bind here and I can also minimize this also let me show you when I try to log into my uh, remote desktop from the computer itself so not remotely but on the computer where it's present let me provide the password here and then press enter and as soon as I'm logged in here my other connection is going to be disconnected so at a time I can only view one window right so if I'm logged in here then I cannot use this desktop connection here okay if I am connected on my remote desktop I will be logged out from my host uh, windows operating system so this is how you can uh, use remote desktop connection on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video